Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. The great thing about snowboarding is the adventure. All day long, you're finding different ways of doing different things, and it's never the same. I don't mind snowboarding alone, but if you've got your friends up there on the mountain and you guys can all cruise down together, it's a really, really fun time. Snowboarding has been really fun and really rewarding for me, and I want it to be fun and rewarding for my customers as well. I'm Lindsay McKinstry, and I'm one of the snowboard experts at Shields. Morning, guys. Come on in. Mitch does most of the work, though. That's not me and Mark. Mitch is the house mom that cleans up after us. I think he probably found out you guys were coming here today, so he tidied up. Disaster cleaned up for you guys, so you're welcome. Uh, kind of cozy. Don't really study much in here. Just watch movies and sleep. Most of the time I'm at the rank or at school, so um, yeah. Not much to show you. I'm in junior jersey. Still got a little bit of a kid in me. So I'm not there so. Depends on how awake I am when I like get up in the morning. It's been a long night and I'm really tired. I'm just throwing something on. Um, I feel like looking good. Go with a colored shirt or something. Um, usually I'm not too picky. This is the mom and the dad. I'm the child. Dylan is definitely the child. And I'm sometimes the child with Dylan and sometimes a parent with Mitch. Where's the old guy? I don't know what he's doing. He's old. Probably trying to fix his hair if we can. Good luck. Yeah, that's tough to do. Morning. Let's do it! Hey, can I play and take the other hand with me? Uh, sure. Second floor. It's a long walk down the stairs. Yeah. You gotta go all the way down to the parking garage. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Warm car, nice. Warm car, so nice. Thanks, Mom. Dylan lives with brothers Mitch and Mark McMillan. Today, Dylan and Mitch will ride to the rink together, where they keep the conversation casual. I almost make coffee. Go pretty early. We skate at 11 on game days. So, usually try to get there by like 9.25. Kind of get into a routine by 10.15. I don't know, you're basically the same schedule I am, really. Yeah. Yeah. All week, I'm trying to get like projects done and stuff this week. So, pull a couple late nighters. And then next week, I have, I have four finals. I don't know about Mitch. He's probably got like one with his old man schedule, but. Uh, well, no, I was, this this last past week was my the worst week for me. I had to do a lot of projects and assignments, but I have two finals next week. But they're not really finals; they're just chapter tests, so nothing too too intense. It's a hung part job. <laughs> I want just extra space.
When Dylan and Mitch arrive at the rink, they meet Mark and most of their teammates for a breakfast that is fit for a king. A little pregame breakfast at the rink. Uh, basically an omelet and then anything from bacon and eggs to some hash browns and stuff like that. Play where we eat, all the guys usually eat in here. Play lunch. Don't mind, don't mind me, guys. Just plate number two. <laughs> uh, on camera or something like that. How's everybody doing today? Good, bro? Good, you've never asked that though off the camera. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep them coming. Yeah, I'm kind of the start of the year. You can pick and usually waiting for us here. Spinach, mushrooms, ham, cheese, tomato sometimes, so I fill it up. The whole thing carbon garbage disposal, he'll, he'll eat anything. Basically. Mike will tell you that once we get back into the good room. Mike's fat too, that's what I'll listen to. Oatmeal and eggs are usually my go to. I'm a big fan of the omelet, so. The ketchup, right? We set up at 9 to like 10, 10, 15, so the guys with class, if they have to come earlier, they do, and guys usually, most of the guys usually come in right around now. Guys will start rolling in, and a few are probably already here. The team breakfast gives players a chance to talk about hockey and the upcoming game. Yesterday, my first, my first shot, first shot I took on Zane. It was black tape, I don't like it. Yell it at me. Let's go black, Mark. All right, I'll go black. Thanks, guys. Have fun, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Could you just Yeah, whatever, Mike. Just put nine guys. Only put them on the floor. Yeah. Just walks down like this, and the guy's dishes one up to him. He's just like this for like 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, it just goes far side. The guy in that front just like, yeah, oh, seriously. That would that'd be the, that'd be the, the hardest goal, job that day. That's the goalie's job to stop. Shot. Saints play in playoff hockey. Yeah. 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 Just First game back, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and then on Mondays, we'll still work out and do our full workout, but instead of a practice, we do uh, Canadians versus Americans. Uh, unfortunately, this week, the Americans won. I think that's their first time winning in since yeah, July. Yeah, since my freshman year almost. So that happens when you go 110%. Yeah, Canada usually dominates. Um, America had some guys playing playoff hockey when yeah. you know, we were just trying to have some fun Big out score. there. So, But hey, kudos to them. They deserved it. Um, hopefully we can play again soon and get them back. It's usually fun when you play like three games, first to five, so best of three. Uh, the goalies, I guess, kind of like it. We usually light them up so they get pretty angry, but it's fun change after a good weekend to kind of get a little bit of a reward and have some fun with the guys, so. And he's always got coffee going for us right before practice in the mornings, and I'm a big coffee guy, so gotta get at least a cup in before a pregame skate. Do that before I go into the room and get ready to go. about snowboarding is the adventure. All day long you're finding different ways of doing different things and it's never the same. I don't mind snowboarding alone, but if you've got your friends up there on the mountain and you guys can all cruise down together, it's a really, really fun time. Snowboarding has been really fun and really rewarding for me and I want it to be fun and rewarding for my customers as well. I'm Lindsay McKinstry and I'm one of the snowboard experts at Shields. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper. Come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. For 50 years, the Big Sky Conference has been showing the world who we are and how we play. 
50 years of authenticity, hard work, community, and 50 years of playing to win. But remembering that our mission is bigger than winning. We're the Big Sky, the heart of Division I, the heart of the American West. North Dakota Hockey takes on Colorado College Friday and Saturday, January 10th and 11th. Get your tickets at the Ralph Engelstead box office or undsports.com. You're different today than yesterday. Yet, you're still a college hockey fan. Proud of national titles. Riveted with stories about the early days. Proud of the school's first big stage appearance. Excited knowing you compete among the game's elite. And recalling the recent reign over college hockey's best. The puck has dropped, and the NCHC has arrived. It's time. Get in the game. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper. Come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Morning skates are relatively casual. It gives a player a chance to loosen up and shoot a few pucks in preparation for the game later that night. It's from the side door. Yeah. Is it true that you get any sticks out from me? Like all our tape's all in the corner here. Along with like laces and sock tape and everything. So this gets pretty crowded. The music station's right here too, so it's usually pretty packed back here. Um, I usually don't tape my sticks that often. I don't use white tape anymore, so I need to switch this. Um, other than that, I don't know, guys in the morning usually just tape their sticks and then they'll go play two touch with the soccer ball or I don't know, just hang out and watch TV. Jackson's going to this. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hockey school five push-ups. <laughs> you missing that? that? Hockey school five push-ups. We're going bar up. No. Okay. Host, host's okay. Right. Host is okay. Not quite. It's okay. All right. Push up when you miss the net. Hockey school push-ups. Taking all wristers. Wide. Yeah, wide. Yep. 
Bad ice. Usually I'll go stretch for a bit and then cold tub. But after that, if I stay here, I'll play cards with some of the guys or sometimes I walk, get a sandwich or something just before a pregame. But from now, yeah, it's basically just however I feel and hang out and relax for a bit and get ready for the game tonight. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper. Come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Winter fashion is a wonderland, and you'll find all the season's best looks waiting for you at Shields. So let it snow. Run a roller. We've got a, two hours we have between skate and we can't be able to stretch and relax. About half our team probably a time are cold tubs. Yeah, got a lot of cold tubbers. There's like 10 guys in there. Yeah, so a lot of guys do that too. Usually it varies when they do it. A lot of guys like to straggle off the ice and shoot a lot of pucks and stuff after the game skates. So in about the next 10 minutes here, I'll probably get a little busy in here. Dylan will have several meetings on game day, including five on five play, penalty kill, and the power play, which is led by assistant coach Brad Berry. Attack mentality. Let's keep that mentality, boys. Attack mentality. Let's have a good one. Do a shower? I don't know. Are you coming back? I've got a lot of friends to hang out with. What? I have a lot of friends to hang out with right now. I can't hear you. So I got a lot of friends to hang out with right now. Well, I mean, I'm here. A lot of guys use this a lot. We have the opportunity to kind of watch our own games, um, our own individual shifts, as well as other teams that we're going to play, kind of piece going on that. Um, a lot of guys use it, especially on game days. If guys have time to kill, they'll come in here and watch some footage, uh, some footage before, just to get ready. And then after games, a lot of guys like to watch our own shifts and kind of learn from it. So, I don't know, I use it quite a bit. Usually on game days, I just go over the other team pretty quick and 
see what they do in tendencies and stuff like that. Uh, my own uh, my own shifts usually on Sunday. I'll watch not all of them, but a lot of them. Especially kind of plays like can remember that you know, I should have done something different or stuff like that. I'll watch those. Campbell's heart kind of. It's kind of like. Yeah, kind of. Like yeah, hearts. it's kind of like hearts. It's um, it's kind of impossible to explain. You gotta well, like, play it to learn it. So you deal five cards a guy. Three, four, five, and then the guy next to the dealer, it's on him. He can call how many uh, how many tricks he can win. They're basically bidding if you have a good. So player. if you want it, so you get to bid whatever suit you kind of want or pass. 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 So, got past on a dealer, so I have to call. No clubs. So now he has to win two hands. You see, everyone starts at 16. In every hand you win, you go down, you're trying to get to zero. First person to zero wins. And then if you like bid and don't win any hands, or you play and you don't, if you bid and don't win enough hands. Wait, what if you, you call? Pull, yeah. So I call two, if I only win one, I get punted two. You get plus five. five, yeah. And if you play and don't win a hand, you get plus five too. Are you playing? Yeah. One. <laughs> The devil! Dave's out! Very incognito. Go ahead, bud. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh, you're different today than yesterday. Yet, you're still a college hockey fan. Proud of national titles. Riveted with stories about the early days. Proud of the school's first big stage appearance. Excited knowing you compete among the game's elite. And recalling the recent rain over college hockey's best. The puck has dropped and the NCHC has arrived. It's time. Get in the game. see all the students already out here uh, lining up, especially when it's this cold and we have people I don't know, out here at 2 o'clock, so uh, it's pretty cool to see and hopefully we can give them quite the show tonight. Relaxing and taking a nap. It's kind of rest the body for tonight, and then once you get to the rink, it's kind of starting to amp it up and get prepared. Uh, basically, it's an all-day thing, like you said, but you know, it starts now really again to get down to it and get ready for the game. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? I always get one right when I come in. I'll cool down for a bit while I change and have a nice coffee during PK. Alright, well, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. After Dylan gets his pregame coffee, he takes a moment to get changed for the game and go to his last meeting, the penalty kill meeting. As the captain of the team, Dylan will act as a moderator between officials and the coaches. His duties will be called upon when plays are under review or officials are trying to sort out penalties.
Usually when guys have good games, media wants to talk to them. Not saying I had a good game, but um, as far as after the coach talks, our media relations guy will come in and kind of pick a couple guys and pull them aside. I'll buy our stick room. We have like cameras with either uh, Midco or other sports uh, writers in the area. Uh, a couple guys do interviews there. Uh, Tim Hennessy is always on the bench. Does an interview with Pack, I think, usually, and maybe a player every now and then. So, I don't know, guys just get it out of the way quick, say what they need to say, and then get ready for the ball. Uh, we get a little bit of a meal after, in the room after the game. That's uh, nice tortellini and some garlic toast. So, I usually pig out quite a bit after a game and just go home and get some rest. So. After a win, the atmosphere in the locker room is upbeat and players enjoy themselves. I to go home and eat pizza and apple pie. Good work, Mitch. Don't call me fat, you're fat. Uh, 11 o'clock, kind of stretch, my cold tub, I kind of just ate and relaxed. <laughs> fat <laughs> Didn't line. do much after the game. Uh, 11 o'clock, heading back home. Well, you know, get some fluids in us and eat a little bit more. Uh, go to bed, I don't know. After games, I can never fall asleep with you. What's that? Do you fall asleep after games? No, I usually take a couple hours to actually yeah, fall asleep. Yeah, I don't get tired until like 2 a.m. And then we'll wake up at probably like 9, 9.15 again tomorrow and do it all over again, basically. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, but you look like an idiot if you're not. You just cut it out.